Letters from a werewolf. <laughs> Dear Moon, it's been nearly three weeks since I last saw your face. Cratered by former lovers, secondhand light illuminating your smile. I remember when you told me that love changes a man. And I don't know if I'd call this love, but truth is, these days, I only change for you. Dear Moon, I still haven't heard from you. But the other night, I looked out my window and I saw you staring back at me. Though most of your face was veiled behind the starry night, I would know those dimples anywhere. I howled your name so hard, I cracked the bone in my cheek so long that the skin peeling off my lungs climbed like eruption up my throat, fell like ash against my tongue. Embarrassed that you had witnessed the volcano in me, I watched you duck behind some clouds, and now your absence is picking fights with the animal in my blood. Why'd you leave? Mm. Dear Moon, I am afraid. You have so much of something inside of me, I don't know what to do with it all. And most days, my veins feel like trenches filled with napalm. I want to burn. This is not love or hate. This is something other. Dear Moon, I still remember your kiss, the box cutter it left in my stomach every time I wrench for you, every time I twist. Like that night, I ripped through all of my skin just to feel closer to yours. I left my flesh a bloody mess piled on your bedroom floor. I rearranged my skeletons to better fit with you, and yet you left before the sun rose in the morning like you couldn't stand waking up next to the human in me. Dear Moon, I still miss you, but the convenience with which you treat our love is starting to gnaw at the back of my lungs. I've got shimmering track marks that run down my tongue and claw beds etched onto the inside of my eyelids. This thing that I have worshipped us into needs to end, and I don't know if I've got enough silver bullet in me to kill the animal instinct you left trapped in this rib cage. but tomorrow night when you come around and see me ripping clawfuls of fur from my frame, a monument of bloody flesh and bone, I want you to know I'm not shedding. I am growing out of my wolf. Mm. I am coming clean of my monsters and repenting of you the way you violated my helix, bled yourself into my DNA. You left me as something that I never agreed to, so I'm cutting myself off from the syringe of your glow every last crescent, every 27th day. I never told you, but you were right. Love really does change a man, but so do other things. That's why I'm promising not to miss you anymore. Sincerely, me. <laughs>